Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark and Duels, and Timothy doing a Code Talker deck profile, which is actually probably one of my favorite Cyverse decks of all time. I really love how you can just throw just about any Cyverse card in this deck, and it works. Like, I've seen a lot of people throw in Salamangrates in this deck, I've seen people throw Marincess in this deck, I've seen people throw Goki in this deck, and it worked. All the cards from Brains actually work in this deck, which is really, really crazy. So, without further ado, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below, because we have some awesome you guys like getting your name search for every single video, getting a signed card sent in the mail, or even getting requested a profile just like this one every single month that you're our patron. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Microcoder. So Microcoder is basically the main card of the deck that you're trying to get out on, get to use as a link material because it lets you search a uh, Cynet Spell or Trap directly from your deck, which is really, really good. It also has the ability that if this card is in your hand and you're going to link something for a Code Talker monster, you can use it as a material from your hand so you don't have to get it out in your field, which is really, really, really good. We then play three copies of Clock Wyvern. Clock Wyvern is really good in this deck because if it's Normal Summon, then you can have its Attack and Defense, and then Special Summon a Clock Token to your side of the field, which then you can use the Clock Token to link away to go for a copy of Link Rebo because it's a level one and then use the Link Rebo and the Clock Wyvern to go and start your plays, going into a copy of your, what's it called, the uh, copy of Code Talker, which is really, really cool. You just immediately go for this card, and then you start climbing up towards your Access Code Talker and getting your extra link, because this is actually a deck that you can make an easy extra link, like consistent extra linking your opponent, which I'll try and do some test hands of this video, or test hands of this deck very, very soon, guys. So then we're going to be doing three copies of Lady Debug. Lady Debug is when she's normal or special summoned you get to add a level three or lower cyverse monster from your deck to your hand which is really cool i like that effect to be able to just instantly search it's essentially stratos of the deck we then play two copies of parallel xyz parallel xyz is really good i like it as a two of in this particular build because the deck is really really tight in the main deck the way i built it and so you want to play this card just at two in this particular build and three in salaman great it's definitely a three of in this deck you can get away with two but what this card does is if you link summon then you can special summon this card to it um to your side of the field to his own link monster points to and if this card is normal or special summon you get to special summon a second parallel xyz to your side of your field which is really good just to get you an additional monster on your side of the field essentially you're getting two free monsters on your side of the field we then play two copies of balancer lord balancer lord is a really good card in this deck because you can pay a thousand life points to get an additional normal summon of a cyvers monster and you can also if this card's banished you can special summon a level four or lower monster from your hand which is really good to be able to get you additional plays off we play two copies of cyvers gadget when this card is normal summon you could special summon a level two or lower monster from your graveyard and then special summon defense edition which is really good to be able to get your plays extended so you can just get some more plays now this is the reason i play this card at two though is because you don't usually want to normal summon this first turn it's kind of more of a recovery card that you're going later in the game to get to. We then play two copies of Code Generator. Code Generator is an extremely good card in this deck. It's relatively new from Tomb Chaos. And what this card does is if a Cyverse monster you control would be used as a link material, link monster, then you can do the same thing with your microcoder is your code generator. You can use this card while it's in your hand, and then it also foolish burials and sends to your graveyard a copy of a Cyverse monster that has 1200 or less attack. So you can send something to your graveyard like a copy of Sea Archiver to get you an additional play to be able to special summon to your side of the field, which is really, really good. We then play a single copy of Scriptron. Scriptron is really good in here too because you can banish a Cyverse monster from your graveyard and then special summon this card from your hand. And then when this card is used as a link monster or link material, you can add the um, monster, one monster is banished back into your deck. And then once you do, you shuffle the deck, which is pretty good. One copy of Code Radiator. Code Radiator is really good in the deck too, but this this card's essentially like Code Generator and Micro Coder. You can use it in your hand as a material for a Code Talker monster, which is pretty good. And if this card is sent from the field, hand or field to the graveyard as a material for the link summon of a code talker monster, then you can target a monster on the field and negate its effects and reduce its attack to zero, which just is really good when you're going second in this deck. Now, I will mention you guys, the reason that you're playing so many different attributes in this deck is because you have a card called Synet Codex that is going to really assist this deck with getting a bunch of monsters out from your deck. It searches for each attribute. So pay attention to that. You have like water, you you have earth, light, you have wind, light over here, water, dark. You have every single 
attribute in the entire game because you can search every single attribute once per turn. We then play a single copy of Link. Uh, I just call this Link Kite. Uh, you can special summon this card from your hand to a zone Link Monster points to. This is really searchable by your copy of Synet Codex, which is the really the reason you play this card. One copy of Cyverse Converter, same thing. You can search this card off of your copy of uh, Synet Codex. So you play this card as a one of, and if all monsters are Cyverse, you can just instantly special summon this card from your hand. One backup secretary. Backup secretary is really good in this deck because you can just special summon her to your side of the field if you control a Cyverse monster, which is pretty good. Uh, one copy of Prohibit Snake. Prohibit Snake is one of the best cards in the entire deck, and I always want to have this card. Um, a lot of people don't realize what this card does, and it's crazy because if your Cyverse monster battles, or if your Cyverse Link monster battles an opponent's monster, then you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, return the opponent's monster to the hand. Basically, it just compulses it. It's like Neospace and Grand Moles all your monsters. Like, it lets them all be Neospace and Grand Mole, but it doesn't balance your monsters. It just banishes your opponents. And if that wasn't bad enough, when it's your Cyverse monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, while this card's in your graveyard, you can banish one card from your graveyard and then target one uh, level four or lower Cyverse monster in your graveyard and add it back to your hand, which is this. You're always going to add the um, Prohibit Snake back to your hand. We then play a single copy of Dotscaper. Dotscaper is really good because... It has the ability that if it's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card. And if it's banished, then you can special summon it. But you can only use each of the effects of it once per duel. And then we play a single copy of Degrade Buster. Degrade Buster is really good in this deck because what this card does is it's basically BLS. Um, you banish a two Cyverse monsters from your graveyard, and then you get to special summon this card to your side of the field, which is the big thing that it does. And it's a fire monster, so it can search. It can be searched out with Cyanat Codex to your hand. It's one of the only fire monsters. I think it's the only fire monster I play this entire deck when I summon Power Code Talker to my side of the field. It also has the ability that you can target a monster your opponent controls with higher attack than this card and banish it until the end phase. So it gets stuff out of the way that's too big for this deck to OTK with. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. Now, we played a lot of monsters in this deck. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Monster Reborn. The Monster Reborn essentially is just an extender for us. Two copies of Synet Optimize, uh, Optimization. Optimization gives you an additional normal summon during your turn, which is really cool if you control, um, if your Code Docker monster battles. Um, your opponent cannot activate card effects either, so it makes them all immune, it makes them all Armides effects, which is really cool. And I like that ability a lot. We then play three copies of Synet Codex. This is the card of the deck. You have to play Synet Codex in this deck. What this card does, this, de this card makes the entire deck work. Because what this card does is if a Code Talker monster is special summoned from the extra deck to your field, you can target that Code Talker monster and add from your deck to your hand one monster that has the same attribute as the monster you targeted. So if I link summon into my copy of Access Code Talker, I can add from my deck to my hand a copy of Micro Code Talker because they're both dark monsters. And you can only search one of each attribute per turn. So like if I search a Micro Coder, I cannot search another dark. But if I link summon into say a copy of, um, let's just say I link into... Transco Talker, which is an Earth, I can search my copy of Code Generator for my deck to my hand. So you get you get so much advantage off the Synet Codex, it's ridiculous. If this card didn't exist, this deck would be a lot slower and would be like really weird because it'd be kind of like a toolbox cyber stack. We then play three copies of Synet Mining. Synet Mining is really good because it lets you send a card from your hand to the graveyard to add one level four or lower Cyverse monster from your deck to your hand. And searches literally anything in the deck that besides Degrade Buster or Script on. That's the only two cards that it doesn't search, I believe. Um, and it's just, or Parallel Xyz. It doesn't search Parallel Xyz, it doesn't search Degrade Buster, and it doesn't search Script on. But it searches everything else, which is really, really good to be able to search everything in the entire deck. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, I'm playing a single copy of Recode Alive. I know you guys are probably looking at this and going, why are you playing that? But it's a really good card. We play a single copy of Limit Code and three copies of Synet Conflict. Now, the reason we play these at this ratio is essentially this is an Inferno Barrier that negates any spell trap or monster effect while you control a Code Talker monster and negate the activation if you banish it. And if your opponent, um, and your opponent cannot activate cards or effect with the same original name as that banished card until the end of the next turn. So if you go first, extra link your opponent and let's just say, for instance, like my fiance Scorpio Senpai, 
she plays Harpies. If you're playing against something like Harpies, you flip Sinek Conflict, it shuts your opponent's entire deck down because everything's a Harpy in the deck. Just for an example, for the next, my this turn that is happening at the current moment, and then the next turn, till the next turn, which is crazy. Limit Code is a card that you can only activate once per duel, but if you have a Cyverse Link Monster in your graveyard, you can place a counter on this card for each of those monsters. And if you do, you get to special summon a Code Talker monster from your extra deck and equip it with this card. And then when this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. And then once per turn during your end phase, you remove one counter from this card. Um, if you can't, you destroy it. Now, it's really good to help you get your extra link, and it's really good to be able to just get on your side of the field. Because if you get, like, here, here, and here, but you don't have a monster up there, but you do have one up here, you can flip this and then special summon over there during your opponent's, the beginning of your opponent's turn. So it's a really good one-of, and also can really help you recover if your opponent, like, blows your board out. And then Recode Alive is really good, because it lets you target a Link 3 Cyverse monster you control, or in your graveyard, banish it, and if you use Special Summon a Code Talker monster from your extra deck, and if you control no monsters in your extra monster zone, you manage this card from your graveyard, and then target one of your banished Code Talkers and Special Summon it. So if your opponent board wipes you again, you can banish this, and then instantly get your recovery play during your turn. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, you're playing a single copy of Access Code Talker. If you guys don't know what this does, basically it's uh, a speed spell for pop, which is crazy. Um, you banish cards with different attributes from your graveyard. Like I can banish a dark, I can banish water, I can banish light, and then pop a card for each one of these. Kind of like Dark Arm Dragon, essentially. It's essentially a Link version of Dark Arm Dragon. And also it has the ability that when this card is Link Summon, you can target a monster in your graveyard. And for each Link marker it has, or Link rating it has, this card gains a thousand attack. And also what's really crazy about this card is it's a speed spell four, so your opponent cannot respond to the popping effect, which is really cool, where you just or banishing something and then popping something on the field. A single copy of Deco Talker, because it is a Code Talker deck, you need Deco Talker. It's kind of like the ace monster of your of Yasaku, so it's kind of like nostalgic to play this card. One copy of Shooting Code Talker. Shooting Code Talker is really cool because at the start of the battle phase, you can activate the effect. This card can make an attack on every monster your opponent controls, but this card loses... Um, this card loses 300 attack, which is really cool, or 400 attack. And then during the damage calculation only, and at the end of the battle phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of the cards this card destroyed by battle, which is really good. I like that effect to be able to just draw cards off your shooting Code Talker. In Code Talker, I don't go into all that much, but it is a good card just to be able to help you out with some of your plays. Power Code Talker is insanely good because it can double, you can tribute a monster, this card points to, and then double its attack going to 46, um, which is really, really good. And then you can target a card on the field and negate it, that target's effects until the end phase, which is also really, really good. You can also play a single copy. I just play one copy of um, in X Code Talker. This card locks down a link zone or a, a zone on your opponent's side of the field. Like, if this is your opponent's side of the field, I can pick this zone right here, and you can't summon to this zone. So, for instance, if I have a monster that's pointing to your zone, um, I'll usually pick that zone to lock down so you can't special summon from your extra deck with um, link monsters to that zone. Since uh, synchro monsters, XYZs, and fusions don't matter anymore. Two copies of Transco Talker. Transco Talker is essentially Monster Reborn. When this card is summoned to your side of the field, um, it also has a really cool effect to special summon a monster to a zone this card points to, which is really, really good. And while this card is co-linked, all co-linked monsters gain 500 attack. And your opponent cannot target any of them with card effects, which is really cool. And then your X Code Talker also makes it so monsters this card points to gain 500 attack. It cannot be destroyed by card effects as well. So you're basically making it so they can't be destroyed by card effects uh, here. And they're gaining 1,000 attack points, which is pretty cool. But if you extra link your opponent with Trans Code Talker in the, in the link, then the, it's making all your monsters gain uh, 500 attack that's linked to that card. We then play two copies of Code Talker Inverted. Code Talker Inverted, if this card is Link Summon, you can special summon a Cyverse monster from your hand. So it's a really good extender. That's why I play this card as a uh, two of. One copy of Code Talker. Code Talker is really good in the deck too because it's usually the first card you go into. You're going to go into Code Talker first so you can have that downward arrow um, and it's really easy to go into because it just takes two effect monsters. One copy of Splash Magician. When this card's Link Summon, you can special summon a monster from your graveyard that's a Cyverse monster. So it's really good. Two copies of Talkback Lancer. Talkback Lancer is really good in the deck too because you have to use a, le um, a level 2 or lower Cyverse monster to link into this card. And then you contribute one other Cyverse monster and then target a Code Talker monster in your graveyard with a different original aim from the monster um, from that monster and special summon it to his own this card points to. So if you summon this and you're trying to recover, 
and let's just say they've destroyed access code talker, you can tribute a monster and special summon back access code talker with talkback lancer, which is really cool. And then we play a single copy of Link Rebo as well because it's Yasaku's deck. We might as well play Link Rebo. And plus it works because you really want this card anyways. Even if you weren't going for a theme for this deck, uh, Link Rebo is really good for the clock Y room because you can link away the copy of your token that you get to immediately summon the Link Rebo and then link both of them away to go for uh, Talkback Lancer or talk, uh, not Talkback, but Code Talker or Code Talker Inverted, depending on which way you're going. So that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. It's a really crazy fun deck. Um, I'll be doing test hand to this deck, definitely. I'm excited to do them, because this deck is really, really fun. And like I said, it's probably one of my favorite Cyverse decks of all time. I really like the way the deck is just like a toolbox deck. That, yes, it does have an archetype, because it's Code Talkers, but, like, none of these monsters share the same name. Like, they're Cyverse type, but they don't say, like, Harpy's Lady, or they don't say Black Wings, or they don't say anything. They're just Cyverse or Code, which is really cool. So, anyways, guys, this is Dark Home Duels. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell next to become part of Notification Squad, and definitely tell me what you think of this video down in the comments down below, and check out that Patreon down in the description. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.